Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Seriously? Fishing? <coughs> uh. <sighs> Got it. Again, hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs>
Estonia, I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jessie, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowpult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed! Be astounded! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry, friend. Tapped out. Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. Admit it! And what do you have here? In a place called Boomtown? But now, I am here, and the cows are a-flying! Can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. It's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't want... Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of... Super Pig!
Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. So where'd we land on the whole stop flinging cows? On not. Not stopping flinging cows is where we landed. Right. Oh man, stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. Hi there. What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. A lever. I wonder what it does. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. So high. Going so very high. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it! Wow. Wonder how high it'll go. This view is spectacular. Now that she's uh, exploring the skies, I assume she wouldn't mind me looking through her stuff. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer. What am I looking at exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco.
Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Elagard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He is just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. I told him I wouldn't tell you this, but he thinks you lack creativity. That you're not inventive. Because he kinda says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good, dirty, ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no. Your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Oh, lava curtain, that is flashy. Oh, my machine, my poor machine. Oh, I can't let Elagard see it like this. Uh, she'll never make me her protege. Oh, how am I ever gonna fix this? It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! <coughs> okay, that's a step in the right direction. Bang! Door open! Switch is on! That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on! Okay, good, good. Wow, here it is. Elagard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Oh. Don't worry, oh. pal, we'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. 
You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients... Try not to touch anything until... I wasn't gonna touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, keep moving. That's awesome. You doing all right? <laughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh, okay. All right. Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable <gasps> pig, that is! <laughs> Eligard! No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh. Oh. So embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser. Ugh. Trial number 
6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I know that making a command block probably seems like a great idea, but you really don't want to do that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. So do you believe us now? Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
so, so sorry. Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh. Ah. Ah. oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, hey, we're back! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time. Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. And this is a problem? You bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after... Mm, well... Let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were going to be here. 
That makes two of us then. But reverse for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. Um, Axel, not your fight. Stay out of it. But your friend has a point. I can fight my own battles. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Hey, hey, yes, it's scary, but it's nothing we can't handle, all right? We're gonna do this. Okay, how? Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Aren't they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. This thing sounds Im impossible. How could it even exist? Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... How does Petra seem to you? Not great, I guess. But she has been through a lot. Yeah. But you saved her. You did an amazing thing, Jesse. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated.
Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. All right, there's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Hey. Thanks. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Are you making fun of me here? Honestly, I can't even always tell myself. But you seem all right. Kind of wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem all right. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's our jerk, you know? Can't help but like him. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. Frankly, I don't think it's any of your business. Hey, whoa! Clearly I touched a nerve, huh? <laughs> well, just keep on your toes. why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people.
Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! Soren really live down here? It's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. your voice and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that. You hear that? I think Ruben is trying to get our attention. myself. Oh, no, no, no. You do not get to be the one who walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Eligard the engineer, Gabriel the warrior.
Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But well, let's split up. 